So some of you may remember a painting I shared a few months ago. Um, it was a shamanic painting that I painted over and then painted a surfer on. And the idea was um, that I had been identifying with this mermaid archetype for a long um, time. You know, being like this watery, ethereal creature that's, you know, doesn't have legs, you know, that, that has a hard time functioning um, in, on earth. And I really wanted to sort of like develop that and move out of that identification into, and I thought about, um, you know, a surfer, like as a being that is, that is in flow, um, but that is also, you know, in an, in a, an empowered relationship with the elements, um, not becoming lost or invisible or unable to function. <laughs> um, and, and I started this painting, but I didn't really know where to go with it. So I never, I never finished it. And, and lately as I've feel like I'm landing more in my physical body, um, I had this sensation of, of being so fluid within the body. And, and then from that place, this sense of, of energy rising within me, like sap rising in a tree. And, and it hit me that, you know, this, this idea that like, I, I've, I keep wanting to be more grounded and be like strong and like, like a tree, like rooted in the earth and, and immovable in a way. And, um, and sort of seen this more fluid surrendered part of me as somehow like dysfunctional or weak this this part of me that's more like boundaryless and um floaty you know um but when i actually felt myself more connected to my physical body for the first time i realized that you know that is where i'm at home and then i realized that the earth you know, the earth is mostly water, just like our bodies. But in my head, I was thinking of like being, you know, connecting to the earth or as being rooted, like like I need to be like a stone or, um, you know, firmly in one physical place. Um, and yet, uh, you know, the earth is, is such a fluid being. And so instead of seeing it, her as a separate thing that I need to like connect into and you know change what I feel as my nature so that I can function on this earth um, it, it's more about uh, connecting with the fluidity that is natural in my body and seeing that the earth is is part of that, right? Like, like the, my body is my home and so is the earth and, and the earth responds to me. Um, and, and I can feel my connection through her through the way that I actually am, that I already am. So I turned this, um, painting on its side, I, I turned it vertically and um, I, I was thinking of drawing this figure of like, I, I kept seeing like a mermaid with wings um, and it does feel like some connection between, like that there is no division between, you know, heaven and, and earth. Um, and um, so I started, you know, putting some strokes of paint on, um, some strokes to like represent the feathers of the wings and, and for the fin and, um, and, and some like yellow paint to, um, 
express this feeling of this golden light or, or life rising in my body. And then again, I, I didn't really know where to go next with the painting. I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to actually make it a literal, um, like representational painting of like a female figure with wings and, and a fin, or if I wanted it to be more abstract. Um, and so I, I just stopped and I, but when I looked at it later, what I saw was that the 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 surfer, the, the wave that the surfer had been riding, it, it looked like a womb to me. And that the, like I am held within earth, within the womb of the earth that is watery. Uh, that earth is, is held within me, that, that we are creating each other. And this is, how this relates to this gardening project. It's, it's this, um, it's a process of learning to, to go, to slow down and to listen and feel the earth as like an intimate partner, as a mother, as my child, not as a, some solid separate thing that even though I, I revere Mother Nature. I, I still was seeing how I was kind of treating her as this like, you know, like the way a lot of people think of God, like something that is awesome, but not relatable um, as, and not affected by, by me as much as I'm affected by her or it. Um, Anyway, when I looked at um, when I looked at the painting from a distance, I suddenly saw, instead of seeing wings and fins, I saw a, f a flower. It looked like a flower opening to sunlight. And that flower, instead of being rooted in like soil and still earth, the flower is coming out of the the womb of water. <laughs> 